Okay, welcome to another episode of the Joey Dunlap Show. So, today I want to talk a little bit about an experience I had down in Cancun. Went down there to do some deep sea fishing, and I signed up to do a six hour deep sea sport fishing tour with Aqua World in Cancun. And it was advertised as um, six hour, six person max fishing trip. I booked it individually, and so what they do is they pair you up with other people on the boat. So it's advertised that you would take the boat out in the morning about an hour, fish for about four hours, and then take the out boat ride back um, for an hour. So essentially you get about four hours of deep sea fishing. So I booked it. Um, the instructions were to show up at about 6.30 a.m. to sign in. Um, so I uh, jumped on the bus and got down there and actually I was about 15 minutes early. Um, so <laughs> if you do one of these, don't, don't, uh, don't go early. Uh, they don't open the doors till 6.30 and you're not really, uh, you're just sitting outside. The nice thing was a security guard came out and checked on me a couple times, but uh, I felt safe. There was no issues there. But get there at 6.30 when they open, went in, got signed up got assigned to a boat uh, with three other people, which was a pleasant surprise. There wasn't six, there was only four of us. Uh, two guys from Chicago, really nice, and a third guy from Brazil. We uh, had a nice chat, we all got along really well. So promptly at 7 a.m. we jumped on the boat, met the captain and crew. It's a captain, a first mate, and a second mate. And we left uh, the marina and headed out to the water. Um, took about 40 minutes actually to clear the bay and get into the ocean. Um, so at eight o'clock, one hour into the ride, the boat came to a stop. And I thought, great, it's one hour, we're gonna start fishing. Well, the captain came down and said, uh, new motor, just checking on it. He had opened the engine compartment and, and said, uh, just checking on my new motor. So I said, okay, no big deal. He jumped back up, we took off, we went another half hour, so we're about an hour and a half into the ride. Uh, captain comes down and says, uh, motor's broken, uh, we can't go, we're going to get another boat. So I said, the guy said, okay, whatever. And so we turned around and started limping back towards the shore. At 9.40, so now we're two hours and 40 minutes into the tour, uh, second boat shows up, new captain, new crew, um, and we get on the boat and we start heading out. So now we're going back out to the ocean and at 10.30, so we're now three and a half hours into the tour, the boat stops and the first mate jumps out and they catch all these little bait fish and they use a, it's really kind of cool to watch them, they have a, um, a long uh, set of these little flies that are on the, on the leader. There's like eight little flies and they're shiny silverly little things and they drop it to the bottom and literally within 30 seconds, they reel it in and there's anywhere from one to eight fish dangling and they're about eight to 10 inches long. And I don't know what kind of fish they are, but we catch about 60 or plus live fish, throw them in a bucket and a half hour later at 11 o'clock, we take off. And we're heading, he says, uh, captain or the first mate says, only 25 more minutes to get to the fishing zone. So at 11.30, we get to the fishing zone. And we're of course all asking what's the deal because in, it's a six hour tour. The, the first mate said, don't worry, we'll give you extra time. So at 11.30 we arrive and uh, the crew, the three crew, the captain, first mate, and second mate begin fishing. And they're bottom fishing. We're not really sport fishing like trolling for barracuda, bonita, or any sailfish. We're bottom fishing. And within a few minutes, we hook up, they hook up fish. And what the process is, is it's not really fishing. Um, I wouldn't call it a fishing trip, it's a reeling trip. They holler at you to come over and you sit in a chair and you reel in the fish. And as soon as the fish gets to the boat, they gaff it and throw it in the boat. Um, and then we ask them, hey, can we fish? Or are you guys, do you fish? And they go, no, you don't fish, we fish, you reel. So I was really disappointed because I'm a pretty avid fisherman. I go out at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, and I was looking forward to uh, fishing. And so with fishing, the fun part is the hookup 
is the feel of the of the fish taking the bait, the tap, 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 the tug, and then setting the hook. Um, you know, reeling in a fish is um, not really fishing. So we do that for about two hours and 15 minutes. So remember now, the tour advertised was an hour out, an hour back, four hours of fishing. At, we fish about two hours and 15 minutes we did catch some fish. I, I'll, I'll admit we caught fish. It wasn't sport fishing. I caught three groupers, or no, I reeled in three fit groupers and three amberjacks. And the one grouper I got to reel in was a sizable fish, 40 pounds. So we all caught fish and uh, we took turns. Everybody was fairly pleased with just the experience, although it wasn't really fishing. So basically at uh, two hours and 45 minutes, we, uh, which put us at about, I think, quarter to two, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, quarter to two. We um, jump back in, the, we get, we're in the boat, we head back to shore, and we um, ride for two and a half hours back to get to the dock. Again, it's supposed to be an hour, two and a half hours. Um, so we get to the dock and I say, I would like some fish. I want to take some fish back had a, a room with a, a kitchen and I wanted to um, do some fish. Well, I was immediately told by the first mate that no, you can't have the fish. The fish goes to the poor people. And I gotta say that's a big fat lie. I, I've been doing this long enough to know the fish goes to the fish market where these guys sell it and line their pockets with the money that you uh, basically supported them to get these fish. So I said, no, that's not the way it works. I need a couple of fillets. And he, after I pressured him, he, he agreed to give me a couple of fillets. Uh, not from the big groupers that we got, because those were a lot of money to them. So they gave me a, a nice size fillet of a, one of the groupers and one of the snappers. Was one of the other guys caught some red snapper. So I was a little disappointed. The other guys were noticeably disappointed. They got a few pieces and we, we, we basically were done. And, uh, but I just want to tell you, if you think you're going fishing, you really need to, and this is anywhere, I guess, you need to really ask them, are, am I really fishing or am I just going to be reeling? I would think this trip would be a good trip for um, a, a somebody who's got some small kids or teenagers who want to do this, but this is not what an avid fisherman would sign up for. It's not fishing. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on the um, Aqua World six hour tour and uh, get your head wrapped around um, for a six hour tour, maybe maybe two hours of fishing, it, it, two hours out, two and a half hours out, two and a half hours back, maybe an hour, hour and a half of real fishing. Um, so they're kind of fibbing a little bit. So, I mean, it's 40 minutes just to get out of the marina because um, you're they're back in the bay. You got to run around the bay. Um, so just be wise, ask a lot of questions. Um, challenge them if you want. I will not be doing that again. I didn't feel like it was something I would redo later. I spent $165 on that trip. Um, I would be more specific asking um, you know, them, is this really sport fishing? Am I really going to sit in the chair with a hookup? Am I really going to get to feel the tap? Um, but uh, that's not the way it works. So again, thanks for watching the Joe Dunright Show. Let me know. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'm always open to your thoughts. Thanks.